Okay, we are looking at a Dometic uh, gas and electric heater with an auto switch on it. But if you're having problems with your fridge staying warm, or uh, I'm sorry, cool, even though you have the thermistor and you've got it turned up as high as it'll go, or you just haven't touched it and say, okay, what's going on? Uh, notice the thermistor where it fits in here. Hope that's in focus for you. Um, it can slide around in here. And in fact, if it's down and you've got your bar in the same place, it may have just moved down. So your thermistor uh, might slide around in here. So I'm just going to put a piece of tape on this and uh, hopefully get this all cleared up. Alrighty, so all I did was um, take a piece of tape and I put it around the bottom and then I just tape this in place. You don't want to cover up the thermistor up here. You don't want to interfere with that. That's where the sensor is located. So this, I just wrapped a piece of tape around it just to keep it from sliding around. So you'll notice I have the thermistor. The top of it is at the top, so it should stay there. Now when I slide it in and I start sliding um, this, I will know that the top of, of the thermistor, can you know, if you can see that, there you go. The top of the thermistor will always be at the top of this, so I can judge where I need to put it. Hope that helped out a little if you're having warming issues. Something that I wanted to show here is, this is where your thermistor comes in from the fridge. Okay, right up there. And you can pull on this and pull a little bit of wire through, and um, actually quite a bit. And that runs right on up, up here, and then into your uh, refrigerator top part. I put a little clip on mine right here just to hold this. Um, as I noted, I put the thermistor top up at the very edge up there and this will hold it in place now because this could fall down slide down on you this way it should stay tight